Hello YouTube, this is Jarcon633 and today we're taking a look at another Power Rangers review. This time we're going to take a look at the Target exclusive Power Rangers team pack which includes the five main rangers of the upcoming Lionsgate movie along with the exclusive Goldar. Now keep in mind all these figures are of metallic paint jobs so there is a standard version of each of the rangers already on single card or at least as a major retail release, while this set is exclusive to Target with the metallic paint jobs. This set also includes an exclusive metallic gold R as they stayed on the box, but as at this point in time, it's still unknown if we're actually going to be getting another version of gold R at all in the single card. So if you want to get a hold of gold R from the movie, this is pretty much the only way to get him outside of the 12-inch figure that still isn't quite out yet. Anyways, we're going to take a look at the box. The box is pretty interesting, and it's still interesting to see a Target exclusive Power Ranger release this time around, since most of them have been Toys R Us exclusive, so this is kind of a first. On the back, it just shows the various different Rangers, and that's about it. It doesn't even have a buy or anything, so there really is nothing else we can say about the set itself. Now we're going to take a look at each of the individual figures. Unfortunately, pretty much expected up to this point, all the Rangers, except for the Red Ranger, have no weapon. Now, technically, they do have something that is considered a weapon, which seems to be some kind of weird energy attack, but the Red Ranger is the only one to actually include a standard weapon, which is the sword that was already released in toy form and also seen in a lot of promotional shots. We also have Goldar here, which unfortunately also does not include any weapons, and outside of the detailing and sculpts, there isn't a whole lot of details outside of it that really pops out since it's just in a static color. So now we're going to take a look at the figures one by one. First, we're going to take a look at the Pink Ranger. The Pink Ranger is pretty interesting, actually. It's got a very nice metallic-y pink color. It actually shines pretty well in the light. Articulation, the head can swivel 360, and that's about it. It's not on a ball joint or anything, it's just on a swivel. It does have ball joints at the shoulders with... Pretty decent movement outwards. It has no other joints outside of a standard elbow. It does have ball jointed hips with good range of movement forward and back. Standard knee joints, and that's about it. You're not going to get a whole lot more outside of a Power Rangers figure. It does include, as I mentioned, the energy effect, which unfortunately is only held by a small peg, so it can pop up very easily. The same articulation will be for the Yellow Ranger once we get to that next. First, we're going to take a look at the first male sculpt here, and that is the Black Ranger. Doesn't have that much of a shine compared to the rest due to the somewhat more matte finish. But other than that, articulation of the head, same swivel, but it can only look left and right this far since the, sorry, the uh, neck gets in the way a bit. He has ball joints at the shoulders with a good range of movement still. Single joints at the elbows, ball joints at the hips, and standard knee joints as normal for Power Rangers toys. We're going to take a look at the Red Ranger next. Articulation is exactly the same, and I think it turned out pretty nicely since the red really helps the look of the metallic finish. Articulation is the exact same thing we've seen, so we're not going to get a whole lot of difference there. It does include the sword, which unfortunately doesn't like to stay very well on the hand. While he can hold it with no problems of it flying off, unfortunately because of the way that the handle is designed, he kind of holds it at an angle, and I find that very distracting. For some reason, he can hold it a little bit better on the opposite hand, although the sword itself isn't made for that hand, so it's very strange why it ends up like that. So that's about it for the Red Ranger. Next we're going to take a look at the Yellow Ranger. Articulation is the exact same thing and because of the yellow design I think the metallic sheen really helped this particular figure. So it does have some pretty good range of movements and I think in terms of the actual sculpt it's pretty decent. Same thing with the Blue Ranger as well. Articulation is the exact same thing with all the males and the exact same thing with the two females and all their attack effects are pretty much the exact same thing. It doesn't even have a different color between the different effect parts. Now we're going to take a look at Goldar which unfortunately is the worst part of the set. 
First of all, as I mentioned earlier, the design itself, while it does have a lot of sculpted details, none of it pop out due to the single color that it has. And it just looks very strange. It just looks like a melted suit, and it looks very bizarre. Articulation, the head can look left and right. Same ball joints at the shoulders, but the wings kind of get in the way since it doesn't have that much pliability. Same thing with the elbows, the same. And unfortunately, just ball jointed hips with no knee joints. And I find that very annoying that we do not have any knee joints for Goldar. Anyways, we're going to take a quick look one by one to see the differences between these version of the movie sculpts and the previously released Legacy original movie Power Rangers figures. I'll be back, and we're going to take a look at them side by side. Now, while I can't say I can recommend this for everyone for the standard $50 price tag, since there's always sales and sets and so on, i got to say it's still nice to actually get a hold of the five main Rangers with a pretty decent paint job compared to their standard releases and along with an exclusive figure pretty much getting free when you and company the $10 per figure if you got them separately. So I think this is a pretty fair deal for what you get overall. I gotta say the movie lines kind of got up its ups and downs already and hopefully the movie will be able to transition very well to what we're getting into the products. Otherwise it could be a grim day indeed for this particular movie, and it'll be sad to see such a production go to waste. Obviously, I got this at Target, in-store this time, outside of trying to get it online, since as of right now, it's still not quite in stock on the online website, so your best bet is to check around in stores, and maybe someday try to get this on sale if you think the $50 price tag is a little bit too much for the money. Anyways, please comment, subscribe, and check out Hero Club and Hero Taku. Also check me Turner Dark on 633, and don't forget to check down the other channels down below. Please check the little bell at the bottom of the screen in order to see my content go up as soon as possible, and I'll be back with more Power Rangers reviews and more, and I'll be seeing you later on YouTube. Bye!